Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the x Men. Interesting when we have youth, I mean young youth, teenagers who release gospel music. Here's Robin Renee with Patiently Waiting. This is Real Gospel. Patiently waiting, oh. Patiently waiting, patiently waiting. Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I'm honored to have as a returning guest, Robin Renee. Welcome back to Real Gospel. And your mom is on the phone with us as well, uh, Miss Treva. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited. Yes, indeed. I'm excited to have you all back on the program. Now, the last time I spoke with Robin, she was, we, we talked about, um, her other song, He's Before You, Unstoppable. That's that's how the song went. I'm not sure if that was the name of the song. What was the name of that song? He's Before Me. That's right, Before Me. And how old were you at that time, Robin? 
I think I was about 12 years old. Wow. So you have been busy, busy, busy. And a lot yeah. has transpired in your life uh, since then. You're 17 now, new music now. Um, just uh, talk to us about, you know, what God has been up to in your life as a young teen. Well, for me, as far as music-wise, um, working on my new single that just came out. So I've been working on that project. And all in all, it was just a great project. I really had fun, and I really enjoyed working on that project. So I'm excited for it. Now, when you say work, see, there's a difference between uh, adult working on a project and a teen working on a project. So uh, what what work did you do on the project? I'm not saying that you didn't work, but, but you know, break it down for us so that the listeners understand that you did put in some work. <laughs> oh yeah so um i worked on this song for a little while a couple weeks um we did a couple test runs with it but we finally got it right so you know the writing process i wrote most of the song which i was really excited about hmm. so that in itself you know took a little process but it was worth waiting for I'll yeah say. Patiently waiting, right? Yes. <laughs> see, patiently waiting. See what I did there? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, when you are writing music, what's that process like for you as a young artist? And let me, for a disclaimer, say that uh, you would be the third young artist that I've ever interviewed on this program. Uh, oh, wow. the, the second would be at the time, Jacqueline Carr. Uh, she was. 12 I think when I first interviewed her and then you see where Jacqueline Carr is now because God and oh, yeah. the, yes yes so God opens doors so uh, I see tremendous uh, blessings heading your way in terms of what God is doing for you as well so oh, thank you. uh, you're welcome you're welcome what what what's it like for you to pen God's music what's that process like how, how do you do that so as far as like writing goes, I would say I'm a very creative person and I draw from any places as far when it comes to, you know, writing music. But the song Patiently Waiting, I don't know, it just popped in my head, I guess. I was just in my room and I kept saying, patiently waiting, patiently waiting. And I'm like, well, I guess I got, you know, put something down because I keep getting this thing patiently waiting. And so I just got down to writing. And like I said, it took a little while, but I got it after a while. Wow. And so... Do you, how does God speak to you? How, how are you able to separate God's voice from your friends, from your moms? Is all, what's that like? Let's, let's bless some, some youth out there listening right now, trying to figure it all out, trying to understand what it's like to actually just, you know, just hone in your spirit for the Lord, especially at, at your age. Well, with the writing process, how I separate, you know, God's voice from, let's say, my mom's voice is whenever I was soaking music, I would go to my mom. But like I said, when I draw from places, I really draw from God because he really gives me the courage and he gives me like he guides the way as far when it comes to writing. When I am stuck on something, God, he guides me through all the time. And then, of course, I go to my mom for guidance and she helps. She helped me a lot, honestly, with the song. So I really thank her for that. Um, so I really enjoyed having her along the process and God helped me for sure completely throughout the whole way. Amen. Amen. And so let's let's shift gears a little bit, because normally I have, the, you know, you all artists introduce yourself. We'll do that in just a second. But but I guess for the listeners who don't know a lot about you or anything about you listening all over the world, uh, introduce yourself to the listeners in terms of what you would like them to know about you and just sort of just tell them who you are how'd you first fall in love with jesus all righty so my name is robin gordon but my stage name is robin renee um i got into music at the age of four that's when i started singing i grew up in the church so you know i had a great stable you know background solid foundation as far as you know starting getting into music and those things in ministry so i started in the church by the time i was eight i had my first album that was really great you know that opened the door really all music wise um, by the time I was 11, I wrote my first book called Stop Bullying, and then I toured, spoke to thousands of kids, and that was also a very great experience. You know, I met a lot of great kids, and for me, just being able to shine the light and inspire kids is just amazing. Um, I'm in 11th grade. I'm a junior currently, just turned 17. Um, I play volleyball on my volleyball team here at West Creek High. Um, so, yeah, I'm a sing, author, volleyball player. Not much to it, but that's me. 
I got you. So how has uh, COVID affected your life in terms of just how things were before COVID and now having to deal with things the way the world is now? I would say COVID really, you know, impacted a lot of people's lives. But I will say um, I would tell people to have a more positive outlook because I know for me, even though, you know, COVID obviously is a bad thing. All this time being in quarantine really gave me a lot of time to really focus on myself and focus on the things that I truly want to do. So I would say, you know, while we're still, I don't say quarantine because we're not taking quarantine, but you know, while you're inside or in the house, you know, still in lockdown or whatever, you know, take the time out to really focus on yourself or, you know, like for me, write new music or focus on things that you've always wanted to do. Like take advantage of this opportunity and use it for greater good. I like that. I like that. Let's pull in mom, Miss Treva. Um, give us some input on how much uh, energy and, and effort you put into, you know, this this new song with your daughter, uh, Patiently Waiting. Yes, I would say I did put in some energy and effort because I wanted Robin to uh, come out with this song. It's such a great song. It ministers to me for anyone who's ever, who, for anyone patiently waiting, whether, you know, for, you know, believing God for your health or quality of life or whatever you go through in life. I can just really, I can feel the words literally in the song. They, they minister to me. So I put, I poured a lot of effort into it. And, and also I support Robin. I'm her top fan. I love her. She's my daughter. And so with any of my children, I have three, I always want to make sure that, you know, I am in their life and helping them the best that I can as God gives me the ability as a good parent. And so I'm grateful um, for Robin um, singing. She loves to sing her vocal abilities and she always has a message from her book, Stop Bullying. There's always a message. And so it's about the message for me. I like that. I, I really like that. So uh, before we move farther into the interview, uh, give a shout out to your other two kids so that when they hear this, they know that you showed them some love, mom. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Robert Gordon Jr. And shout out to my son that's in the military, Tevin Gordon. There it is. Mom showed you all some love. And you talked about uh, Robin's book, by the way, on bullying. Uh, what was the what what sparked that? What what motivated you all to sort of uh, sit down and, and ink that? Robin. So as far as stop bullying goes, you know, like I said, I'm a very creative person, so I have a lot of ideas. You know, I like to try a lot of new things. So I was just sitting down in my room one day, and you know, I had pen and paper, and God just told me to write. So I'm like, okay, write. Didn't know what I was writing. Had no idea. Stop bullying. That's what. No, it was about to be produced. So I'm just sitting down and I get to writing and I think about elementary, I went through bullying. And so I was like, okay, I could write about that. So I just got to writing. And my envision, I never even envisioned that I would go as far as I did, as far as, you know, public speaking and as far as that goes. But hey, God just blessed me and I can't be more thankful for that. I like that. I like that. Mom, were you going to say something? Yes. I, you know, she, she had it. She wrote it down. It was written on paper. And I remember the day, it's like yesterday, she came upstairs. I was in my office. I was working. And she said, she said, Mom, I wrote a book. I wrote two books. And I just kept working. And it was like the Lord said, did you did you hear what your daughter just said? She said she wrote a book. And I just stopped. And I looked at um, the manuscript. And it was like, wow. And I knew I had to do something with it. I knew that I had to help her and to help bring that to fruition. And I'm just so grateful that I listen because that book just wasn't for Robin. It was for thousands of kids who have experienced bullying and uh, it touched so many people around the world. Amen. Amen. And and praise God that, you know, you are a mom that that not only listens and hearkens to the voice of the Lord, but you also move when you hear the voice of the Lord. And that's very important. So Robin, uh, talk about your mom for a second and talk about you know, when I say talk, I mean to the listeners, to the to the thousands, maybe even millions of children listening to this interview right now and their parents. What advice can you give other uh, youth uh, around your age or, or maybe even some some grown kids? You know, let's be honest, that really um, may not appreciate their mom as much or their parents as much as they should. 
What I would say to them is I would say always appreciate your parents. You know, everybody always hears that, but truly appreciate your parents. I know at times I could be, you know, maybe ungrateful and, you know, yes, I regret that, but we all make mistakes. You know, we're humans. We all make mistakes, but it's all about working towards the relationship with parents. And, you know, they gave you life, you know, they give you a house, they give you food. So it's like, be thankful for that because one day you never know how long you have left with, you know, the people that you love. So always take advantage of the moments that you have. And always make the most memorable moments with those people. Wow. And of course, yes. I definitely, I want Robin, if she doesn't mind, I want her to talk about her dad. Um, her father, he passed away. Uh, my husband, he passed uh, two years ago. And so, I mean, he was a tremendous man of God. Mm-hmm. And I, I just want him to be included in this interview. So, Robin, please make mention of your father and say something about him. Oh, yes, of course. So, my dad, um, Pastor, Robin, Pastor Robert Gordon Sr., he passed away in 2019. And I would say he was for sure my number one cheerleader through anything, you know, throughout music, the book, even volleyball, just showing up to my games, you know. It's little things that, you know, really take into account and it really affects somebody's life and you never know. And it is sad that sometimes you never realize, you know, how great of a person that you had around you until they're gone. But I always acknowledge, you know, that he was there. He was always a great person. And for sure, I will always look up to him. He's my number one role model. So I really thank him for that. And yeah. He was the best. Amen. Amen. And I just want to say uh, I am very sorry for you all's loss. And uh, you all are definitely still in my prayers. I I, I had... Uh, was aware of his passing. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring it up in the interview, but um, uh, you, you did. And I just want to say um, uh, thank you so much for honoring him and honoring his memory and uh, carrying on the legacy that he poured into uh, you, uh, uh, Robin Renee. It, 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 your light truly is shining bright. And so we yeah, honor you. your father. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. So uh, in the remaining moments of this interview, uh, what can we expect next from uh, a 17-year-old Robin Renee? You're already an author. You're already a recording artist, uh, athlete. So what's next? Well, I'm working on more music, so hopefully soon. You know, stay tuned for more music. Um, just keep up with me on social media and see what's next. More music. What can we, uh, Any collaborations? Uh, is there anyone out there that you just want to put in the atmosphere that you love to work with? Um, who I would love to work with or who am I going? How about both? <laughs> uh, well, who I'm going yes. to, I'm not for sure yet. You know, we're just going to see how that goes. But as far as wanting to, I don't know. I mean, my favorite group is the Walsh Group. Yes. Like, anybody who knows me, like Walsh Group, <laughs> oh my gosh, I met them once. Like, it was amazing. Like, they're just the best of people. Yeah. So, you know, that would be really cool. Yeah. Mom, anything you're going to whisper in her ear that you want to share out loud that might be forthcoming for Robin? Um, well, I'm excited for uh, our brother in Christ, Wes Morgan, yes. who has taken Robin under his wing. And, um, you know, who knows? They may even collab. I don't know. I'd love to see them come together. His daughter Lizzie is doing some great things. I love Ja'Kalen Carr. And so, you know, I'm telling Robin once opened up for Ja'Kalen. And so wow. I'm just excited about whatever the lord however he's going to take her um i'm very excited and so yeah the the, the possibilities are it's unlimited yes yes and and that's awesome did you all get a chance to uh, record that on video with with her opening up for uh Ja'Kaylin? You know what? Someone may have that somewhere. I'll see if oh, I can find Oh, you've got it. to find oh that. You've got to track that down before you can't find it. I'm telling you now because okay. <laughs> I, I, I know uh, Jaquelle Carr and her family, her, her dad rather, uh, personally, and I've watched him just sit down and do the same thing that you all are doing. And he, he is an independent artist. So that's, and you know what that means in terms of when God opened those doors for them. So, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. So, uh, where can people find out more information about you, Miss Robin Renee? How can they get your music? How can they get your book? How can they find you and have you, I don't know, maybe do a, a Zoom concert these days? However, <laughs> they can use you. All right. So for my music, I'm on all the major platforms. So iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, YouTube, anything else. Um, you can find more information about me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. At Robin, R-O-B-Y-N, Renee, R-E-N-E-I. And then I also have a website, Robin Gordon, the number one, dot com. 
And you can find my book and booking information as well as Amazon. You can find my book there. Amen. There it is. Robin Renee and her mom, Miss Treva Gordon. Thank you so, so much for returning thank as you. our guest on Real Gospel. You're thank welcome. You. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men. And the real flashback song of the hour is on the way.